Hi, I'm Michael Chess, Flash Platform Evangelist for Adobe, and today I'm going to present how to use custom layouts within your Flex mobile applications. Indeed, uh, with the last release of the Flex SDK, you can develop mobile applications, and it will provide uh, a set of new components with new skins and also a default behavior for your list components. So here on my screen, I have a classic mobile application. Uh, so if you look at here, I just have a list with a data provider. I will feed my list with some text information. And if I click, I will push a new view. So let's run it on my desktop using uh, the Adobe Air runtime. So this is the default behavior. I've got my list with a smooth scrolling. But no, what happens if I rotate uh, my screen, if I change the orientation? So I will use my shortcut here, and we have exactly the same layout, which is OK for text content. But now, if I click on an item, it will push a new view to feed my list with pictures. So I will click on an item. OK, here is my list with all the pictures. And now if I change the orientation of the screen, I have the same behavior. And this is not a good user experience if you want to scroll uh, this list of pictures. So that's exactly where you should use custom layouts uh, and the new layout uh, architecture introduced in Flex 4. So now if I go back here, I have another project. To use custom layouts, first you need to declare two states. So here uh, I, I am declaring a portrait and a lens landscape um, state. And then inside my list, I can say that if I am in the portrait state, I want to use a specific layout. And in this case, uh, the tile layout with the rows orientation. So by default, with Flex4, you have three built-in layouts. You have the horizontal layout, the vertical layout, and the tile layout. So when I'm portrait, I want to use the tile layout. And when I'm in the, in the landscape state, I want to use the classic horizontal layout with a gap of 30 pixels. So if I run it now, Here is the tile layout. As you can see, it displays more information on the screen. And now if I rotate uh, the screen, then I've got the classic orientation layout. The only thing you need to understand is that you need to, um, to know to get uh, a notification when the user changes the orientation of the screen. So here I'm using a tip. I don't know if, the, if it's the best way. But uh, I'm just listening at a resize event on the view. And then I check if it's uh, uh, running in landscape or portrait uh, mode. Uh, to do so, uh, so here we are. I just developed a quick check orientation method. And I'm using uh, on the navigator object uh, this property, landscape orientation, uh, which is a Boolean. So if it's true, then uh, the current state is, state, uh, is set to landscape, and if it's false, to portrait. Uh, also, what you can do is play a little bit with uh, animation. So I will just update my code here. Because it's pretty easy to um, know where are going your items when you switch from uh, one orientation to the other one. So just using classic flex effect, here is what you can do to improve the user experience. So here is my first screen using the tile layout. And now if I switch to um, the landscape mode, you have a nice effect, a nice transition between the two states. But that's not all. Now I will just go back to my previous code. And I will use a custom layout. So um, you can now extend uh, the basic layout base class uh, in the Flex4. Uh, it was introduced with this whole Spark architecture. and 
you can just uh, define your own, own way to render the elements inside a list container. So I will update my code here and say that if we go to the landscape mode, I want to use a custom class, which is the cover flow layout. So I can just go in to show you how it works. It extends the layout box class, and then you just need to override the update display list. And for each element, uh, you can just uh, return the coordinates. And you can also use 3D coordinates, um, since now we have uh, three axes. Um, and it was introduced in Flash Player 10. So if I run it now, here is the same time layout um, um, approach to um, display my elements. But now, if I change the orientation, this is using my custom layout with the cover flow and um, innovative way to display the elements. But now, let's see how it runs on my tablet device. So here is my tablet. and we will launch uh, the application. I've got the same list. As you can see, it's very smooth. And I'm using here the virtual layout. So um, this is like data paging, but on uh, the rendering um, list of the Flash Player, um, just to optimi optimize uh, the memory consumption. But I will rotate the screen now to display exactly the same list, but this time using the cover flow. And you can see that this is also very, very smooth on my tablet. Okay? There is no performance issue. And I have also the same experience on my BlackBerry Playbook, which is also very responsive, very performant. So I hope that it will um, give you some ideas uh, to improve the user experience of your Flex mobile applications. And you don't have to stick to the classic behavior. So what do you think of it? If you want to display text content, you can use the classic behavior of the list component. But when it deals with pictures or um, media in, in general, you may want to change um, the way you display the elements um, and also depending on the screen orientation. Um, so you can retrieve uh, the source code of these samples on my blog, areagore.com. And thank you.